Hey guys, hey to all my new and old subscribers and thank you so much for your support on my braid out video. I'm still like working on my braid outs, I'm not still entirely happy with them. I don't know if you guys know but I've been trying in the past different um, holding um, moisturizers which I've decided to stop doing because they dry out my hair too much and I'm trying to work on just using my staple moisturizer which is Proline Comb Through Softener. Um, so I'm still working on my braid out so we'll revisit that another time as we always do but today I wanted to definitely talk about 40 ladies saying that they find it really hard to stretch now I know like 40 ladies we have this kind of connection and this I don't know how to explain it but it's always so interesting when you meet another 40 lady because all that struggle that you had when you were a child with your hair when you didn't understand anything about hair care and your mom probably didn't understand much you felt like you were the only one at that time and now like as we come together and more of us are coming out and we're all 4C ladies and I just find it very interesting the kind of bond we have if you like with the whole 4C hair situation. I want to list a few things that should be helpful so if I look down I'm reading from my phone so first of all if you want to do a stretch I suggest that you have staple products in your hair regimen that your hair loves and that really soften down your hair and I say this because obviously products do play a big part I know I say don't put emphasis on products but I just mean don't put emphasis on products and keep buying things just out of following people or following trends and stuff like that that's my point but obviously without products our hair would just be looking a hot mess because nothing would be able to tame it so have staple conditioners deep conditioners shampoos and moisturizers please just try and find what your hair really does love as you guys do know in any hair category there's different forms of 4c hair so for example my hair likes water-based moisturizers with um ingredients such as water and glycerin being the first two or three ingredients but then another 40 lady that I talked to her hair prefers creamier moisturizers so it doesn't mean just because we're 40 that our hair is gonna like everything that we try so you have to be careful with that as well and um, for me water-based moisturizers penetrate my hair because I've got low porosity hair in it that means that if your hair finds it hard to um, to let a product penetrate it so I feel like you need more lubricated things and most of the products that are in my regimen are all beginning with water and glycerin so that's definitely helped for me so you need to find a balance between product application and wash day so wash days with my hair after a while it stops reacting to the product meaning it needs a wash so basically you guys know my technique I don't use gel in my hair at all because my hair just doesn't like it I like to use a combination of my moisturizer and my hot six oil to seal so with my hair on my wash days I'm on wet hair because I air dry and moisturize it really thoroughly and that sets me up for the week so all I need to do to the bulk of my hair is just retouch like put moisturizers on my ends and a few parts but I don't need to do it in sections after my wash day but my edges are the problem so um basically what I'm trying to say is that after a while I will get product build up and when I put the products on to kind of lay down my edges it won't have the same effect it just won't listen because there's so much product in there so you need to find the balance between how you're using your products and how you wash your hair out so how often you wash your hair out so your edges also I find that my edges are the driest part of my hair and this is because of foreign products so I wash my face twice a day and obviously the soap traces of the soap can get on the edges and make them frizzy and dry so you have to really pay attention to the causes of these things and be aware guys so yeah basically my hair could be like really after a night when I put my satin scarf on my edges will kind of be exposed sometimes and my it will sometimes I'll wake up and my satin scarf is off my head so this could mean that my even though I use a satin pillow my edges just do curl up that's the nature of 4C hair when you when it's not in its stretch form when you loosen it from the stretch form it will just curl up and just be so tight so basically I smooth my edges with my moisturizer and my um, hot six oil and you will see the difference I'm going to show you pictures and my edges will be very tightly coiled but then when you use that technique they will just look really nice and my hair doesn't quite um, curl or anything but what it does do is have waves in it when it's laid down so satin scarf is your best friend on this stretch like a satin scarf can work wonders for you you would be surprised so 
um, I have a picture for you also when I was like about five months post and I did my whole method of stretching my hair out on my wash day and um, my hair um, the next day the bun came out really smooth and I had waves so I'm going to link that video for you also below as well so another important thing is that our 4C hair as even it's it's basically the driest and most delicate hair so you really need to be careful on this stretch now this I keep saying but I will say it for the new people sorry for the old ones that are getting bored of it but on my last five month and two week stretch that was back in January I I stopped doing that um, stretch in January when I texturized my hair I found that I was burning way too much and I was putting way too much pressure on my hair so I've learned to do certain styles like this and it have the clip at the back instead of constantly burning all the time and um so what i what i'm going to tell you is that yeah keep the hair firm and in place but don't make it too tight because if you do that then you're going to cause breakage which i had minor breakage as well so just switch hairstyles up so if today you have like something like this anyway something like this wouldn't be so bad if it was on a consistent basis in a, as opposed to tight bars because this style is very loose on my hair even this front twist is very loose and it's just enough to stretch out my new growth and I'm going to be three months post tomorrow so just I am going to bun of course I'm going to bun but I'm not going to bun as much as I did before I'm going to definitely explore styles and because of my edges as well it's going to mainly be things like this involving a twist or a braid at the front just to kind of give my edges that encouragement to be stretched out so just try to avoid tension as much as you can and doing things like sleeping with a bobby pin as well which is what I kind of used to do try to avoid it if you're doing bantu knots or a style that require, requires it just try to put it in your hair gently because that also can um, it won't be nice on your scalp as well so really you just need to basically find what your hair likes overall for this video what I'm basically trying to say is that you need to find what your 4C hair likes now I know that there's the argument that people with looser hair textures find it easier to stretch their hair and I do kind of agree with that I don't think it's an easy walk in the park for them but I feel like it's definitely a bit easier for them to manage their hair um, when I was 100% um, um, relaxed so I had bone straight hair now I'm texturized which means that I just I under process my hair purposely with uh, just for me kids relaxer but back in the day when I used to be bone straight relaxed it was very much harder for me to stretch because my hair was so straight and then I'll have my thick new growth but now that my hair is kind of in between and as close to my natural texture as possible it's a lot easier for me to stretch now that I'm texturized so that's another thing as well so ladies it can be done you just need to find the technique some 4C ladies have finer hair than mine some ladies it's even more delicate that there's different types of 4C hair but you need to find a way to just let it be beautiful and look after it properly so I am going to show you that you can stretch in very long stretches with 4C hair you just need to master your technique today guys I'm wearing SE and it's called Big Spender the reason why I'm showing you these nail videos in case you're wondering is because I get a lot of videos I mean I get a lot of questions on what nail color I am wearing so I just decided that I may as well share them with you since my nails are always done thank you so much for watching guys I hope you have a great Sunday and I hope that your stretches go really well I'm really glad to know that you ladies are on it with me in this whole stretching thing it feels like I really have a big support network so let's keep it up ladies and I'm going to be showing you every step of the way for encouragement I love you guys and speak soon bye